wanted to make another clear video on the uh, PWM controller that we offer. A lot of people are having difficulty trying to uh, set the frequency, know what the frequency is, so I wanted to go ahead and make it real clear. When you get our control box, you're going to get a plug harness that's going to go into the OEM regulator plug-in. You're going to get a ignition connection and a ground connection. So ignition and ground loose wires will just follow the instructions. Go to ignition and go to ground. So right now when the vehicle is off, the box is off. When you go ahead and turn on the power, you will get to the frequency settings. Typically when you get it, it will probably be at 100 hertz. So what you'll do is you'll press the button until the icon flashes to where you're going to be changing the frequency. You're going to set it to 128. And then you're going to go on to the percentage level. And here we'll dip it down to what the OEM setting is, 13, 13 volts, 58%. So as you're raising the frequency, you're raising the voltage. So at 14, 14, 78%, 14.8. You want to go higher than the 14.8, take it to the 87%, takes you to 15.3. These controllers are not that complicated. They're actually very simple. So long as your connections are solid, your ground, your ignition, and you're following the frequency steps, your voltage is adjustable. If for some reason you are at the 128 hertz and you're setting it all the way to 90% and it's not adjusting, I would say check your connections, but there's no reason why this should not be able to set manually for you as I'm showing you now. This unit was returned by a customer who just could not get it to work. Um, this is right out of the box, 14.8. When I take the controller off, it's at the OEM setting, OEM plug and play on these is 13.7 to 13.8 set point. But with our controller, that allows you to go ahead and stay at the constant wherever you want to be, 14.7, 14.8. So this is a pretty simple setup. Controller is pretty simple. This is at idle RPM.